2024? I call the Health and Safety Committee meeting to order at 6 o'clock. Members present are Kevin Myers, C. Aaron Sherrick, James Mee, and myself, Vicki Deshawn, as chair. First off, um, do we have any public participation? If anyone would like to speak to the council, if you'd come to the podium and state your name and address. Okay, seeing no one. Next, um, I'll ask for, well, I guess, are there any questions to the May 9th, 2024 regular committee meeting minutes? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes. So a, for, or a first by Myers, second by me. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed, same sign. Okie doke. Next, open projects. Do we have anything on our open projects list we want to discuss? Nothing I, from me. Okay, next again, public participation. Seeing no one. I adjourn our health and safety committee meeting at 6.01 p.m. Economic Development Committee, May 23rd, 2024. I call the Economic Development Committee meeting to order at 6.03 p.m. Members present are Carolyn Shireman, Christopher Moritz, and myself, Vicki Deshawn, as chairperson pro tem. Absent is Chair Zion Hickman. First, we'll ask for public participation. Seeing no one, uh, does anybody have any questions about the May 9th regular Economic Development Committee meeting minutes? I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes. A second. I'll make a motion. Oh, <laughs> second. <laughs> Motion by uh, Moritz, second by Shireman. All those in favor? Aye. Next, open projects. Anything to discuss on our open project list? I have nothing. I don't have anything right I now. I have nothing. Okie doke. Next, public participation again. Seeing no one, I adjourn the meeting at 6.04 p.m. Service Committee, May 23rd, 2024. Call to order service committee meeting at 6.05. <clears throat> Members in attendance, C. Aaron Sherrick, Kevin Myers, Zion Hickman absent, Chris Moritz chair. At this time, I'd like for to know if anybody has any public um, participation they'd like to talk about. Seeing none, I would like to have an approval of minutes to have the, uh, would you entertain motion a motion? Because I would like to make a motion. Make a motion. <laughs> the approval of minutes from May 9th, 2024 regular service committee meeting. Make a motion for that. I'll, uh, I'll second that. Second that. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aaron Sherrick first. Mr. Meyer second. Motion passes. Mass motion passes. I was getting there. <laughs> okay, we were going to bring up. Um, Part nine in the city codified ordinances. Uh, we're not there and ready for that yet. We're still waiting for some more answers from the administration. So we're going to table that for now. Or I'd like to have a motion to table it. Or I'll take you need to table it. You can just table it. Okay, I'm just table that then. We're going to save that until those answers are given to us. So then again, any open project anybody wants to talk about? No, sir. Seeing so no open projects again for uh, public participation. Anybody? Seeing none, we're going to adjourn at 6.07. Committee, May 23rd, 2024. Calling Public Lands and Buildings Committee to order at 6.08 p.m. Members present, Carolyn Shireman, Christopher Moritz, and myself, Sierra and Sharp Chair. Mr. Hickman is uh, absent this evening. Um, do we have any public participation? I would entertain a motion for the approval of minutes for the Monday, May, or the, for the May 9th, 2024 regular Public Lands and Buildings Committee meeting minutes. I make a motion. I second. All right, so we have a motion by Mr. Moritz and a second by Ms. Shireman. All in favor? Aye. Madam Any, Chair. Yes, ma'am. 
Um, I, I would like to uh, read something from the Trails Committee. Okay, hold up. We are in the middle. Okay, excuse me. Of this, um, are you voting for that, or are you just? No, they want me to read okay. their last minutes meetings. Okay, so we had a motion and a second, and I asked for a vote. He said yes. Are you voting for or against the minutes? No, I'm voting for the minutes. Okay, but that's like great. To then that motion this. passes. Don't go so fast. Um, so then the next thing is, is do we have any, or, well, we're tabling the wavelength contract. And then the next thing on here is the open projects. Is that a part of an open project? I don't know. You're the chair. Tell me. What's it? What's it letter? Five. This is about the committee. Okay, we're either the... going to talk appropriately or we're not mm. going to talk at all. Sorry, that was my bad. Chris, to answer your question, this is um, for okay. the trails committee. This is their last two meetings. Mr. Thidoff asked me to update everybody in okay. public lands. So, for an order, that would be on the public participation part. We're not there yet. Give it one more second. We have anybody wanting to talk about open projects. So, I can't do it on the first public pro We project? passed that already, ma'am. Well, you went too fast, ma'am. Okay. Point Slow of order down. number two. Please make notes of those. Yeah, please. Um, Anything on open projects? No, not for me. Okay. Now we're on public participation. Is there any more public participation? Am I allowed to talk? All right, Mr. Myers. Um, I had spoke to you at the last, Kevin Myers, 421 West Oakwood. I had asked a question about the North End Fire Station at the last meeting. Have you gotten any answers from the administration yet? I've, the right. gentleman that is interested in purchasing is uh, asking, so I thought I'd bring it to this committee again to see if you had any update. I have not. Did you get any update, Mr. Uh, Gernert? Uh, I think that the administration wants this committee to, um, by vote, approve the uh, approve the administration we don't need legislation but I think he wants the mayor and the service safety director wanted this committee um, to approve by vote the um, obtaining a commercial appraisal I think that's the hold up okay so if you ask for a motion <laughs> So we would be open to a motion there you go. to go out to find out the appraisal right. on this property. Would anybody want to make that motion? I'll make a motion for that. All right, we have a motion for uh, to go out for an appraisal, or for the administration to go out for an appraisal on the North End Fire Station. Do we have a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so that's that's three. Right, so yes, make, now we will that for you. Right, move, thank you. So move forward passed. with that. All right, do we have any other public participation? Yes, Madam Chair. Um, I would like to give an update on the Trails Committee meetings. The committee has met twice with a lot of enthusiasm from the members. The ideas the committee have focused on and our plans of completion in time will certainly become an added attraction to be Cyrus and the citizens. I believe upon completion we are talking a three mile trail. At last night's meeting the committee chose to name our project Pines Marsh. Madam Chair, may I refer to the law director for his input on a couple of questions? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Thank you. Mr. Gerner, you have your paper in front of you. Um, can you tell me, tell us the procedure we need to take to have public lands and buildings approve of the new name Pines Marsh? Is it possible that we can officially get it changed in this committee? Also, does it need approval from council as a whole? Could the Trails Committee, which I am a member of, ask you to do what would be required by you to seek the change? Thank you. Yeah, so I don't know the answer to any of that, but I will let you know. Okay. Madam Chair, I may, re may I refer to Mayor Truca for a couple questions concerning the Mr. Trails Truka, Committee. could you get up by a microphone? I'm sorry. I'm not sure this needed. 
Mr. Truca, at last night's trail meeting, the committee would like to thank you for attending and answering many of our questions. Also, could you get back to us after you re relay some of our questions to Mr. Gurner as soon as possible? And the trails commit, oh, I'll let you answer first. Yeah, I'll get back to him. I talked to Brian. And, okay. But um, what am I getting back to? The questions that we proposed to you last oh, night. Oh, okay. At the yeah, I, I have them written down, so. Yeah, well, whenever you get the answers from him, okay. Mr. Gurnett. Because um, the trails committee would like to send a personal invitation for our next meeting on June 27th at 7 p.m. Um, in the council chambers to Mayor Truca, Tommy Starner, and Mr. Gurner here in council chambers for your advice on our procedures. This is the, that is the end of the report for the trails committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Yep. What's that good? I will. Uh... All right, is that all? Do we have anything else? All right, I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 6.15. Planning Committee, May 23rd, 2024. Planning, minute. Planning Committee will come to order at, come on, Aaron. 6.15. 6.15. Members are Aaron Sherr, Carolyn Seiderman, Vicki Deshawn, James Mead Chair. Uh, we have any public participation on Platting. Greg White, 1125 Hillcrest Drive. Some of the couple questions I have is for the zoning of the solar panels. Uh, does not include um, zoning for uh, solar farms in the in the city limits of Bizarre's. Um, it only includes for residential and businesses. Are right. we going to address that issue? Of when, when we, I'd like to table it for right now. Okay. Because of that and other issues with it. Okay. So when okay. we get to that, I was going to table it, but oh, okay. well, I just, I had some questions. So. Any more concerns or? Nope. All right, That's thank all you. Okay. Any more public participation? Sure. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gary Diver from uh, 1928 Marion Road, Bussars. I'm here tonight to talk to you a little bit about the construction of a pond that I would like to put in my uh, residence. Um, my residence is uh, about 1.85 acres. Uh, the pond would be uh, somewhere between a quarter and a third of an acre. Um, I believe it would um, add value to my property along with other properties in the area. And besides that, I think it would add maybe some water protection in case, Lord forbid, there'd be a fire out in that area. Uh, there'd be water accessible there for whoever might need it. So. Um, the pond would probably be around 10 foot deep is kind of what the requirements of it are. Um, there's nobody, no kids around me. Um, there's one other house and then church to the far south of me and then the um, self storage units, which is the north of me that's already got a fence around it. So uh, I would like to have this uh, brought up for consideration. Is there any other, any, uh, um, um, comments so or you questions? wouldn't have any problem with the water de uh, fire department coming no, in? No, absolutely not. Okay, that'd be great. Absolutely not. Ac access water. Yep, access to, uh, there's some pretty good sized properties around there, some good, good buildings and so on, and that could, it could ac be access to that if it needed to be. Okay. Okay? Good. Thank you. Any other questions? While Mr. Diber is um, standing there, um, we sort of skipped a little on our agenda, but that's quite all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you want, um, or Jim, do you want to read the uh, document that we got from Landon Hill? He is our interim zoning administrator, and he was unable to be here tonight, but he so graciously typed up his thoughts on how this matter could possibly be handled. So ponds as a residential accessory use. This is by Landon Hill, interim zoning administrator. The only reference to a pond I could identify in the zoning code was in 1187.02, private swimming pools. However, 
It only mentions garden ponds, which I feel is a koi pond, etc. And it specifies that are not be, to be considered as a swimming pool. I attempted to identify existing residential accessory use ponds in the city utilizing the aerial photography via Crawford County Auditor's website in an effort to find an example of a permitted pond. All the ponds I identified existed in the 2001 historical area photographs pertaining to adopted of 511 of the Part 11 Planning and Zoning Codes on March 9, 2022, which would be considered legally non-conforming grandfathered uses. So all the ponds that are in, in town now were before these ordinances were passed. So BCA, BCO 115.05B1 states, only the use of designated as permitted shall be allowed as a matter of right in the zoning district and may use, may use not so designated shall be prohibited. Given no listing as a designated use, it is considered prohibited. BCO 1155.02B1 and 115.02B2 provided two options additional for the permission used in a formal amendment to the zoning codes for similar uses for the Boarding of Appeals. I sought the law director Gerner's feedback and he concurred with my interpretations. If the council is interested in allowing a pawn as a residential accessory use addition language in 1187, additional residence district standards could be appropriated as can cover all residential zoning districts. If desired, the new accessory use could be added as a conditional use, making it subject to approval from the Board of Zoning Appeals. Any requirement planning committee would like to see any recommendations through the public hearing process could be added to the language for the BZA to consider in making its decision. Examples of the potential requirements is considered minimum lot size of the pond, potential fencing, or accessory control requirements. Landon Hill, Interim Zoning Administrator. So, can I follow up on that a little bit? Sure. Okay, he gave me a copy of 1155.02. And he referenced one item on there. It's part B, permitted, permitted uses. And in this part on A of this section, it says, only use designated as permitted shall be allowed as a matter of right in any zoning district. And any, not, and any use not so designated shall be prohibited unless. Now to me, that's telling me that if it isn't in zoning already, more or less that can be done. Am I right on that? It's saying that um, shall be allowed as a matter of right in any zoning district and not designated, which hasn't been designated in zoning, okay, shall, um, actually it's kind of contradictory is what I'm trying to say. It's saying that if it's not in zoning, it should be permitted, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Am I reading that right? What section did you refer to, Mr. Diver? 1155.02 uh, okay. under B, under 1. And this is what he outlined for me. I guess the bottom line is I'd like to have you look at it, I guess, to see, see if we can do anything. Okay. And Mr. Diber, if I may give to you, and I apologize that you weren't given this earlier, I think what you're referencing is the first time that you had spoke with Mr. Right. Hill about this. Right. And then since that meeting between the two of you, I've had some discussion, and then that's where he came up with this document that he prepared. So I'd like to give you a copy of that right. so that you can... Um, See what he, uh, what his thoughts are. 
I guess what I'm thinking is that it'll be a benefit to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll increase values of properties around me, and it'll also, also add fire protection if it needed. I agree. So I think it's a good idea. But there's the code requires us to do one of two things, which is amend the code or go through the BZA and have a similar use determination, uh, which probably is not likely based upon the fact that no pond has been approved based since we've adopted zoning. So uh, I think that what Landon is saying is that the amending the code to allow for ponds to be constructed in the city of Resires, uh, but at the same time to make sure that there's either fencing requirements or lot size requirements or uh, all of those considerations are fleshed out at a um, public hearing of the planning committee. Um, that's what he's saying. It's not that it's prohibited or undoable we are not unattainable whatever the word it's not that we can't do it it's just that there's a couple steps that the city would have to run through first okay now one other thing um, to the south of me is Nazarene Church okay they don't allow the kids to come anywhere near my property number one um, number two the north of me there's already a fence from the uh, self self storage units okay and I've already been permitted by Landon to get a permit to build a building. And I can build that building anywhere on that property. I can build it between, uh, towards the church and put the pond between my building and the fence that's already there. Um, there's a lot of different things I can do, but if I put a fence all the way around the pond, that kind of takes away from the pond. And if I have to do that, I don't know if I'm interested or not. Because putting a fence all the way around the pond is kind of a, if you've ever seen that done, it don't look very attractive. I agree. So, um, maintaining would be the thing on the BZA side of it. Just maintain it if it got to that point. Right. Um, Look it over. See what you want to do. See if you're interested, and get back with me. And okay. We'll go from there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do we want to see what type, what would legislation would look like? laws and things that have to do with water and cities as well and now they just passed a whole lot of stuff that was why we did the extra legislation in 2022 was because of a couple of kids drowning and state things coming in and we had to put something in as well if I may add something on that sure. I've already talked to my insurance company about liability insurance that is no problem on my end um, so there will, there will be liability insurance there to cover anything that may happen. So that's already been, that's already been taken care of. Okay. okay. So, Mr. Gerner. We'll do some research and yeah. see what we Is can Is it okay with. with this committee that mm -hmm. Mr. Gerner does some research on this and comes back to us on our next meeting maybe? Yeah. Sweet. All right. We do have a motion to approve uh, the minutes from May 9th, 2024, regular planning committee meeting, because I would like to make one. Aaron, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have a second? Do I have a second? <laughs> Carolyn? Yeah. Second? Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, zoning of the solar panels, I'd like to put that on hold or on the table for a while. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's table. Uh, open projects. Nothing? Open projects? No, I have nothing either. Public participation. Seeing none, meetings adjourned at 6.29. Finance Committee, May 23rd, 2024. Call the Finance Committee to order at 6.30. Members present, James Me, Christopher Moritz, Vicki Deshawn, and myself, Chair. Any public participation for finance? Greg White, 1125 Hillcrest Drive. I'm going to propose to this committee that legislation be enacted that if the uh, on the levy that the city cannot repeal the out-of-town income tax. 
during the entire time of the levy, of the five-year levy, uh, because I don't think it would be fair that council would get this passed and turn around and backstab the people of the city that are out of town workers and say, no, we're going to come after you after we get the levy passed. Thank you. I yeah. considered it that issue. I think there should be legislation. I can't guarantee that because we don't know what the next council is going to run up against. So I don't think it's fair to the to the uh, out of town tax people that have to pay out of town taxes and then they you try to get them to pass the levy and then guess what we're going to take it away from you again because it always comes up time and time again in this committee and on council floors that they're going to repeal it every stinking time. I think what Mr. Me is saying though is even if this council passed it the next council could repeal it. Not if you put in an agreement that it has to be during the five-year term of the levy. I don't know. I'd have to. I don't know. I've never I seen it, but I'd have to look at it. I know. I think that's what he's saying, but I would have to. I'd have to look at it. Because I think that's only fair to the. Oh, I get what you're saying. I just. I'm not sure procedurally. I would have to look at it. Okay. I can't speak for everybody, but I agree with you on that. Um, but I think what these two are saying. I think that's probably. I'm not the lawyer. But uh, I think that if we, I think pass, it, be done. If we you, pass it, it would be more like a goodwill gesture, right? And then, no, I think it should and then be, somebody else comes in and no, office I've talked and to a lot it. of people here in town that says that, that they're not going to pass this levy until they get a guarantee that you're not going to touch the out of town tax credit during the entire time of the thing. Because I'm going to tell you what, there's a lot of opposition out there right now that. But there's, life, there's no guarantees. Well, I understand in life, there's no guarantees. But if you have legislation that specifically states that you cannot touch the out-of-town tax credit during the duration of the tax levy during the five years, that no council can repeal that at that time. So you want to wrote in there that if we go after the out-of-town tax, that that abolishes the 3.25 no he's saying the other way around that if yeah. the residents pass the levy that we're proposing that we as a council would not have the authority you make to, to repeal you the out of town repeal tax credit during the entire time of the five-year levy and that this council or any future councils cannot repeal that during the entire time of the levy Instead of talking about the what ifs, let's wait. And let Mr. Gerner research that, and then we can talk. Yeah, you could. I mean, we'll get you a chance to speak. But I think instead of talking about the what ifs, let's let him research it and find out what we can and can't do, and then we can go from there. Okay, thank Mr. you, Mr. Moritz. Also, to that point, I received several phone calls, basically saying the same thing. No way anybody's going to do it unless they get some kind of agreement of some kind that the council will not touch the out of town yeah. taxes. We'll wait for an answer from Mr. Gerner. Any other public participation? <clears throat> Clarissa Slater, 3645 State Route 4. Just a question. Could it be separate? Or are you trying to say it would be in the same levy? No, no, I think what Mr. White's asking is if the proposed property tax levy is passed, then this and future councils during the time that levy is active cannot repeal the out-of-town tax credit that the city currently gives. I think that's what he's asking for. Yeah, I guess I'm asking is if it's not part of the current legislation, would there be separate le legislation? Yeah, it wouldn't be part of the, yeah. So when you go to vote for that levy, that would not be mentioned in that. It would be just. Like in a separate agreement. Yeah. Okay. Like a resolution or an ordinance. Yeah. yeah. Understood. Okay. Thank you. Any other public participation? All right, seeing none, you have in front of you the minutes from the May 9th, 2024 regular finance committee meeting. I'll entertain a motion to approve. I approve. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Moritz and a second by Mr. Me. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the same. All right, Ms. Lewis. So I know I touched on it briefly on Tuesday night's meeting. We noticed that our waterworks fund electricity bill the usage was higher than it was at this time last year 
So we talked to Mr. Ernsberger, and he is going around checking the pump stations and things like that to see what the cause is. Uh, he, we believe we've narrowed it down, and we are requesting, in order to cover the bills that has happened so far, a transfer from Fund 701 Waterworks Fund uh, Department 7525 Distribution, 24 materials and supplies in the amount of $20,000. We want to take it from there and put it into Fund 701 uh, Department 7526 Waterworks Lands and Buildings under 23 Contractual Services, adding in that $20,000 there. Um, to be transparent, we may have to address this later if that wasn't the cause, but we're hoping the 20000 will cover it. Okay. And then you'll obviously, or somebody let us know, if you do determine what the cause was? Yeah. Okay. All right, so the auditor's requesting legislation, <coughs> emergency legislation, uh, approving the transfer of the amount of $20,000 from Fund 701 to 7525, line 24, into Fund 701. Uh, item 7526, line 23. I'll make a motion for that. Second. Just to clarify your motions as emergency legislation, as emergency Mr. Moritz. Yes. Thank you. Second. And Mr. Me, you can second that. Any discussion? If not all in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed the same. That motion carries. Is there any open projects that anybody wishes to bring up for Finance Committee this evening? Mr. Me? No. Mr. Moritz? No. Not Mrs. Deshaun? No. All right, any further public participation? All right, we will adjourn at 6.37 p.m.